who you might know looking to move into this part of town? Nobody, and I don't have time right now, okay? Oh, okay, Mina. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm not trying to bug anybody, I mean. <laughs> Best thing I'm just listening to just sold. On an expired, I would, I would still, I would, I would push her. Because expired is different. Two, six, but five. on. Hey. Um, just as it just sold, like, don't bug people. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, they don't want to talk. Like, you know. oh, hello, Miss Fox. Yeah. Oh, man, this is Paul. I'm a real estate broker, Keller Williams. Um, hey, I, we uh, have a property for sale. We're help, helping a neighbor right around the corner. And we just, lowered uh -huh. the, we just lowered the price on a half acre property at 465. It's in great shape. Hey, I was wondering who else you might know uh, thinking about moving into this part of town. I am a um, realtor. Oh, great. Did you see the for sale sign? <laughs> Anne and, uh, no. Well, 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 I'm glad yeah, I'm calling I think, you. I don't know. I'll look, I'll look for it. Yeah, it's Anne and, uh, Anne and Durango-ish. Okay. You I'll look for it. Yeah, good, good. Hey, I appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks. She thought she was so clever. Yeah, she did. She what? She thought she was, she was so clever. clever. Yeah. an open house for me on Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> you live right there. Yeah, you live right there. <laughs> that would have been classic. That would have been really funny. Yeah. You'd have to you know, I'm going to use that next time. Yeah. I swear to God, I am. You should call her back. Say, hey, I just thought. Yeah, I just thought. I mean, you do yeah. anything on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> How many deals did you do last year? Here's your script for getting a realtor. When you get a realtor. Right. Yeah, I don't. What's that? I see open house all, days. I see them all week. I see sign, open house signs all yeah. week. You can do it. We try, and we still actually do during the week, but we do it late just for signs. We don't typically get. What days have you done it? Uh, at, uh, what days during Wednesday, the week? Friday. Friday. Right done. now we're doing that. We've done it Wednesdays, Tuesdays. The only thing I think the only day we haven't done is Mondays. How does? Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson? Yeah. Oh, good morning. This is Paul. I'm a real estate broker, uh, Keller Williams. Hey, we were helping a neighbor out around the corner off of Ann Road with a half acre property. Uh, we just lowered the price, so we were calling all the neighbors to see if you might know anybody or who you might know looking to move into this part of town. Which house is that? It's uh, over off of Ann Road, 8580 Ann Road. It's uh, right at Ann and Riley, between Riley and Durango, east of Capitan, west of Durango. You familiar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anybody right now, but I can certainly recommend that. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, the sign's up in case you you find anybody. You've been in this pro you've this area a long time yourself. Well, I grew up here. Oh, wow! So you've seen some changes in Las Vegas then. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Nice. Now, have you always, always lived in this area, or did you come from another part? No, we used to live on Spook Ridge Road, and there was nothing else but Spook Ridge Road. Oh, gosh. Dirt road, huh? Had a little ranch there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd you choose this area? Pardon me? H How did you choose this area here? Just as the town inched out, you just kept inching with it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. So if you could move, though, where would you want to go next? Uh, probably. Uh, tell you the truth, I'm not gonna ever move again. Yeah. So staying here long term, huh? Uh, yeah. Move for the last time. Yeah. Well, good for you. You found your settled down house. Sounds like you're pretty comfortable there. I don't blame you. I, I, I would probably do the same thing if I were you. So, yeah. well, hey, listen, Mr. Nelson, I appreciate your time. Just by chance, uh, maybe which one of your friends or family members who's been talking about real estate? Uh, nobody. No. <laughs> well, hey. All settled in down here, too. Good, good. Well, I'm very grateful for your time, sir. You, you have a great day. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. That's it. Sundays aren't a great day either. No. And, and we found that mornings are better than afternoons on Saturdays. And what, what is the time frame you usually allow for? Is it like all day? We, we, yeah, we started out at 4, went down at 3, and we're right now just actually trying the last, this week and last week, two hours. Okay. Uh, 10 to noon, but I think 9 to noon is kind of 9 to 1. Is, yeah, is two hours a little tight. Two hours a little tight? Yeah. I mean, hello? I mean three. That's what we want. Three is probably the sweet spot because two is like just a little short. Okay. Three, four is a little. Huh? I like two. You like? I know. We only get set up and then we have to turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a great setup. Oh, okay. But three is enough where you're there for a little while. Okay. I mean, four if you're hardcore. Yeah. Like we were always doing four. Hello. Hello? Hello? Let me tell you, Just Listed Just Sold, I picked up some big listings Just Listed Just Sold. Really? Seriously. You put them into your sphere, like a lot of, typically it's longer follow-up, but like I've picked up some really big listings this way. Like, hello? Hello? Oh, God. Um, and I, got, I know a guy who just focuses, see, this is why, um, Hello. Hello. This Merck? Yes. This Merck. This is Paul. Uh, I'm a real estate broker, Keller Williams. Hey, I was helping a neighbor out uh, around the corner and uh, Ann Road in Durango. We just lowered the price on a half acre property. By chance, uh, who you might know thinking about moving into this part of town? No, don't know anybody. Oh, man. Well, geez, I, I really appreciate you thinking about it. Are you still over on Grand Canyon yourself? Yes. Oh, good for you. How long have you been there? Uh, forever. <laughs> forever? Holy cow, that's a long time. <laughs> how did you, how did you How did you choose this area? I don't know. I guess it was cheap land back in the early days. <laughs> back in the, right, right. Back in ancient times? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, listen, I appreciate your time anyways. It, it, just by chance, if you could move, though, where, where would you want to go next? No, I'm not moving anywhere. Pretty happy there? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's a great area. No, I, I just, uh, I'm in my 
I, I, I will probably live the rest of my years here. Oh, God okay. bless you. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. You have a great day. You too. All right. Bye-bye. That's it. See you sometimes at them here. First, you like to ask them for email and send out your thing. Mm, I mean, there's got to be something there. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what you're talking but about. I would do a phone farm and keep them in there. Like I think phone farms are good ideas. I think they're really good ideas. Like you can get a lot done. Hello. Yeah. Oh, Connie. Yeah. Oh, Connie, this is Paul. I'm a broker with Keller Williams. Hey, I was helping a neighbor out around the corner off of Anna Decatur, um, half acre property, and we were calling all the neighbors. We just lowered the price, and I was wondering uh, maybe who you might know looking to move into this area. Not a person. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, I really appreciate you thinking about it. You've been in this area a while yourself? Uh, yeah. Ah, good, good. So, uh, where'd you move from? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, no worries, no worries. I was just checking to see if, you know, uh -huh. no worries. If you, maybe you had plans for considering to move this year. No. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, hey, have a great day. You too. All right. I jacked that up there. I, you don't know if you heard it, but like I jacked it up. Like I said, uh, I don't know where I jacked it up. Huh? Where'd she move from? Right before that. Like I made it awkward. I'm like, like I made it a little awkward. And then she's like, and then she, she re then she responded awkwardly. She's like, oh, I'm in the middle of something right now. As soon as I did it, I was like, shit. Like, because your energy matters. Like, um, relatively both of those last calls were still like good energy right but because i'm bringing a lot of good energy to the to to the conversation but that's okay um yeah there was a little piece of it that i that i was sure a little hot right away like, huh have you been here a long time or no how long still still over on you still been in here a long time yourself and there was, I did, I don't know, I have to go back and look at it quick. I can't find it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I typically not, I'm not going to put them in a drip but unless, like, there's something there. So what's a phone, phone farm? Farm, phone? Phone farm. Phone farm, <laughs> okay. phone farm is going to be, like, a, a farm, a geographic area you pick out. And instead of mailing it, you just phone farm it. You just call them. Once go. A month, once a quarter? Um, you know, I, I've never really done it, um, but I'll tell you, I, you could easily coach. Hello. I mean, once a month, or at least, at least once every other month, and like update on like just listed, just sold, and like if you called them four times a year, let's say you call them four times a year, like I guarantee you, you're gonna get business out of that. And like you knock them a couple times a year. Hello. Hello. And you knock them a couple times a year. I guarantee you your business. You I've never done this, but I should. I I, I regret not doing it. Right. Is um like phone farm your like your community. Yeah. Like phone farm your community, and then knock and like, hey, I'm a realtor in the neighborhood, and and then call them once a quarter. And have just a couple. Hello, Miss Gillette. This Vicky help you. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this Miss Gillette? No, it isn't. Oh, I apologize. Did I have the Gillette household? Uh, who is it? This is Paul. I'm a real estate broker. Is this the Gillette household? Uh, and what is this in regards? Oh, some some property that we had for sale in the area. We we're calling all the neighbors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this the Gillette household? Well, you could probably get her here, but she's not here right now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, well, listen, no, okay. it's, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we were trying to help a neighbor sell a property in the area. Y you one of the owners at this property? No. Oh, well, hey, maybe you can help. We we're trying to sell a property. It's a half acre. We just lowered the price to four sixty-five. Maybe you know somebody looking to move into this part of town. Wh who do you know like that? Um, not that I know of. No? Okay. <sighs> you might try her back later, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right no, nah, that's okay. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Okay. I 
Okay, so that's 10 contacts right there. Well, I made a couple contacts before, so I don't know how many I've made since I've been sitting here. Are you sure you just have one in each hand? No. Uh -uh. So you were very persistent about asking if it was just a one. Yeah, because she wouldn't answer me. She wouldn't answer me. She wouldn't answer me. Because she's like avoiding it. Right. But look, I was persistent, but was she annoyed? No. No. You know why? Because of my tone and... Hello? Hello? Because the core of my identity when I'm, make, when I'm reaching out to people is like, hey, I just want to help you. Not I want to sell you. Not I want to script you. I just want to help. And so if I come from... The, hello? Hello? Oh, Mr. Hernandez? Yeah. This is Paul. Hey, I'm a real estate broker, Keller Williams. I'm helping a neighbor out around the corner. Uh, we were calling all the neighbors. We just lowered the price on a half acre, 465. Uh, I was checking to see who you might know looking to move into this part of town. Uh, oh, man, I appreciate you thinking about it. You still in the area over on Benita Vista? Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, good, good. How long have you been there? Uh, you know what, dude? I'm not interested in talking to you. No worries. Hey, I appreciate your time, though. Appreciate you hanging up on me. Thank you. Helps build my confidence. I appreciate that, sir. <laughs> you can't take it personally. This is just. Can't believe it's me hanging up on you. I know. I was thinking. I, I, I did one yesterday. I'm like, hello, hello. I can't hear you, and I'm perfect in here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like Starry and Vivian. I can't. Well, I know, but you can't. I have to answer. So, um, it's nothing personal. They're just not interested. It's okay. I don't care. Any business spends money or time, be, um, millions of dollars and millions of hours with people who are not interested because they know that it's just that when they do find somebody who's interested, that's what matters. This is exclusive. Go!